guys, welcome back to Rewatch Reality. Today I'm gonna get you caught up on all the drama that's happened between Kevin and Tiffany since Kevin knocked out Curtis all the way up until last night's episode where Tiffany storms out of Kevin's house because she found out that he's been lying to her. All right, let's get to it. Last we left off is when Kevin knocked out Curtis. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty epic. I'm gonna start off with saying that I don't condone fighting, but with that being said, I mean, Kevin did knock this dude out. He was talking shit. You know, Kevin was in his feelings. Tiffany wasn't coming with him. He was super hurt, and then you got this guy over here talking shit to him, trying to rub it in his face, and it's like, in some way, it's like, what did you expect him to do? It just wasn't Curtis's day that day because to make matters worse, Tiffany tells him that she's no longer gonna go with him. Her whole excuse was that she needed to focus on herself and she can't be having all this drama in her life. I'm not gonna lie though, I felt bad for Curtis. He was super emotional when he pulled out. Like, come on guys, you saw how happy he was when he was gonna go pick up Tiffany when he was getting ready that morning. Anyways, Tiffany's a little player though because the second Curtis pulls out, she immediately called Kevin. All of a sudden everything switched up. She's like, Kevin, we just really need to talk. Can you please come back to get me? Totally switched up and she's trying to act like it's because she doesn't want drama in her life. But in reality, it's just the fact that she got completely turned off by Curtis because he got knocked out. I mean, let's just be honest. I was low key shocked that Kevin even came back in the first place because I mean, personally with me, if I pulled up on a dude that I was supposed to be hanging out with and I find out that he ditched me to go hang out with another female, next. Anyway, so Kevin pulls up to pick up Tiffany and she's all sitting there with puppy dog eyes and telling him how sorry she is. And the whole thing just seems manipulating. You see this little smirk on her face and I'm just like, I'm not buying it. I really just can't believe it, man. I'm sorry. You wanna hug me too now? Yeah. Anyhow, so the two start making their way back to Kevin's house, but while they're on their way home, Kevin does let her know that she hurt his feelings, and at that point, Tiffany denies Curtis being anything but a friend to her, and that she's really sorry, knows that she's gonna need to work on earning his trust back. Once they make it back to Kevin's house and Tiffany gets all settled in, the two are able to sit down and have a conversation, and at that point, they both agree that there was gonna be no more surprises in their relationship. Once that conversation was taken care of, the two definitely started flirting. Tiffany actually told the producers that she was super attracted to Kevin. She thinks he's super funny, has an amazing personality, great lips, really pretty eyes, and she just thinks he's so cute and adorable. Fast forward to the next morning, the two definitely hooked up. Nobody was denying it. And Tiffany goes on to saying that, you know, it was a long time coming. She said, no pun intended. <laughs> so Tiffany comes out and Kevin like whipped her up a whole breakfast and she's all happy, smiling ear to ear. She let him know that she had a good time and that she was really happy and especially happy about the fact that they were able to talk about everything from yesterday. So that way the two of them can hopefully move forward in the relationship. Kevin goes on to tell her that he still is in disbelief how everything had went down the day before. I don't know, it kind of seems like he's happy that she's there at the moment, but at the same time, maybe like a little discontent with how everything had went down, maybe put a bad taste in his mouth. Tiffany goes on to tell Kevin that if they're really gonna try to make this relationship work, that they really need to cut out everybody else out of the equation. And then bam, Kayla calls. Of course, it's obvious Kevin isn't gonna answer the phone because he's sitting right in front of Tiffany. I think Tiffany senses something, but she doesn't say anything about it. And so at that point they part ways and both of them are gonna go get ready for the day. Kevin goes on to tell the producers that the reason why he doesn't tell Tiffany about Kayla is because he's worried about how she's gonna respond to it, like maybe scare her away. And I call it bullshit. He's just keeping Kayla on reserve. Let's just be honest. So Kayla ends up calling again while Tiffany's upstairs getting ready and Kevin is already ready at this point. So he steps outside to take the phone call and I'm just like, well, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I actually don't feel bad for Kevin or Tiffany. Kevin's a player. He's been playing Kayla this whole time. He's playing Tiffany, obviously low key because he hasn't even told her about Kayla. And then Tiffany just had Curtis come through. So, I mean, honestly, they both deserve each other. So I don't feel bad for either one of them. But anyways, I digress. So Kevin's out there talking to Kayla while Tiffany's upstairs getting ready and Kayla knows nothing about Tiffany like I mentioned. And so she's sitting here telling Kevin like, yo, you know, maybe we should get together for lunch or dinner. And Kevin totally just feeds into it and he's just like, yeah, you know, I'll think about it. I'll let you know when I'm available. Then Kevin goes on to tell producers that he can't even lie that he's not ready to cut ties with Kayla yet. 
All right, now let's fast forward to last night. The episode kicks off where Kevin's gonna drop Tiffany off at the tattoo parlor. She's gonna go meet up with one of her old high school best friends, get a tattoo, and just enjoy the fact that she's out and have some girl time. So Tiffany's sitting there getting a tattoo, you know, explaining the situation to her friend about all the drama between the guys. And then she makes the joke that she basically left with Kevin because Kevin won the fight, which further proves my point that she ditched Curtis because he got knocked out. But anyhow, while Tiffany was getting interviewed, she did mention that she had to block a certain somebody on social media because they were trying to get crazy with her with messages. And then out of nowhere, because I personally feel like this one was staged, but then she got delivered flowers and a card and it was a card from Curtis, you know, basically saying fuck you or whatever, you know, piece of good I had left in my heart. You just stomped it and took it away. And that's not exactly what he said, but you know, that's the gist of it. So then the episode brings us back to Kevin's house where Kevin's being super flirtatious with Tiffany and Tiffany is eating it up. You can see on her face that she's all about Kevin at this point. So anyway, she's unpacking her clothes up in his room and he heads down to go get some coffee. So Kevin's phone starts going off while he's down, you know, making coffee. And my first thought, or I'm sure everybody's first thought is like, oh, okay, it's obviously Kayla. But then we find out that uh, there's a whole nother ex-girlfriend involved. I couldn't catch her name. I mean, I literally played it like four times and I just couldn't catch the name. But anyway, so Kevin is talking to two girls, not just one. And mind you, all this is happening while Tiffany is still upstairs. So Kevin is down in the kitchen completely whispering about the situation while he's talking to producers. And then at that point, that's when Tiffany comes down and then they're going to start going for a walk. So the two are out walking and Kevin's like on his phone a lot, you know. So and Tiffany's already kind of been suspicious of him anyways. He's already has a reputation. And so she asks him directly, like, who are you talking to? So Tiffany tells him, I want to know what's going on. And then she tells her, like, what do you, what's going on with you? You tell me, because you just had Curtis showing up over to pick you up yesterday. So why are you pressuring me and asking me what's going on? Look, check it out. Kevin never had plans to stop talking to the other women. He's especially not going to now with the fact that when he pulled up on Tiffany, Curtis was there. So he doesn't even feel bad about it now. So the two end up in a huge fight because Kevin ended up telling Tiffany that he is talking to other women, that he has been talking to them while she was locked up. That basically he was living a whole nother life while she was away. Tiffany's not dealing with it. She's pissed off. She's super emotional. She storms back to his house, locks him out of his own house, goes upstairs, packs all her shit. Tiffany's so pissed off to the point where she's not even really thinking straight because she just takes off out the door down the street with her suitcase. And in reality, she's paroling at his house. So where is she going to go? But anyhow, we're going to have to see on the next episode what happens between these two. I cannot wait until her and Kayla meet. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be drama and I'm waiting for it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching Rewatch Reality. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you know the name of the other girl because I cannot figure it out. All right, till next time, peace out.